Well, today's lecture we're going to look at the uh, the lithosphere and the uh, asthenosphere. So I'm going to draw a little uh, diagram of the Earth here. See how well I do. And say that is the crust. And let's start with the uh, let's start with the core itself. And we're going to look at the core. The core is solid. There's a lot of radioactivity going on there. It's solid because of all the pressure pushing in on it from all different sides. And it's uh, mostly composed of nickel. The next one we want to look at is the outer core. And that is this is the outer core and it is liquid. We're not going to say a whole lot about those two. Really the, the big ones for plate tectonics as far as we're concerned is going to be the next two. The next one we want to take a look at is the mantle and yeah, this area in here. The mantle is really broken into two parts. Uh, the upper mantle, let's see if we can get this in here. The upper mantle is going to be solid. So we'll say upper mantle is solid. And the lower mantle is magma. And this is the molten rock, and this is really what the uh, the plates are are writing on. The last part we'll look at here is the uh, the crust itself. And when we talk about the crust, we're talking about land, and we're talking about the ocean floors and so forth. And we know the crust is we know the crust is solid. And so those are really the divisions we want to think of on here. Uh, let's go on to the next one here. And here's another diagram of this and we'll uh we'll put some uh we'll talk about some features of, of this. The uh the crust as we mentioned is solid and rigid. So we talk about the crust, we're thinking of something solid and rigid. The upper mantle the upper mantle is also solid. The mantle itself, when we're talking about the lower mantle, you know you can see all of this material down here. The mantle, the mantle, you consider, you know, we talk about being magma, but it's plastic. You know, you can deform it. Uh, it's deformable. So you can deform it, deformable, deformable, oops. And it's viscous meaning it can flow. And that's probably the, the key when you start talking about the mantle in here. You know, it's, it's very, very viscous. It's, it's plastic-like. It can move. It can bend. And that's really the key when we start talking about plate tectonics. Now, what ends up happening, and we need to make this distinction as we move through the, uh, the whole idea of plate tectonics here, is that the lithosphere Oops, let me do this. The lithosphere. When we talk about the lithosphere, when we, when we talk about the, the lithosphere, we're talking really about the crust and the upper mantle. So it's the crust 
and upper mantle. In other words, the stuff that's really kind of solid. Uh, we're looking at going into the Earth about 100 kilometers or 60 miles. So the lithosphere is the crust and the upper mantle because that's the solid part. The asthenosphere, or asthenosphere, as you may have some people referred to it as. The asthenosphere. is really the part of the mantle that is magma. Part of mantle. That's magma. And we're looking anywhere from oh about 100 to 600 kilometers. Now I know it sounds like uh, you know, we're making some pretty fine distinctions but when you talk about the crust that is what you know what we live on the ocean floors. When we talk about the lithosphere itself it's the crust and the upper mantle and the asthenosphere or asthenosphere is part of the mantle that is magma. It goes down to about 100 to 600 kilometers. So uh, and we will uh, definitely discuss that at a, a little more length uh, as we get through class but just know when we talk about these those two uh, ideas that's really what we're talking about lithosphere is solid a is really part of the mantle all right and we'll catch it